It's 7 a.m. Are you getting Boss Hog in the back? Yeah, Boss Hog's in the background, and Theo was up all night. He's Mega hungry. got no sleep. I got no sleep partially because of Theo, partially because I'm addicted to Madden now. This is a new development. How long did you stay up? Just till 11. Those are precious hours you could be sleeping. We have a full day of eating ahead. How do you feel about my Madden addiction? I don't mind it so much. You were teaching him yesterday, right? Theo, yeah. You're changing your lineup and yeah. you're talking about the players. I'm making a coffee. Meg is having a chai tea with macadamia nut milk. You wanna go for a walk? Come on, let's go for a walk. I have my bulletproof coffee. Do you guys get bored of me doing the same thing every day? Inside out shirt. Sure. He's usually pretty good. Last night he was just bad. Um, he wasn't bad. He wasn't that bad. Growth spurt. Oh, growth spurt. Ghee, MCT oil, some cinnamon, and a little sweetener, stevia. And today, which I am not prepared for, I have to prepare right now, is our quarterly Keto Connect meeting, which is a new thing we've been trying to do just to like, you know, assess, direct the company, make goals. Motivate the employees. Which if you guys don't know, we have four. One new person just started on an internship, so we're gonna have five total people kind of working for the team. Then we have one person who helps us with photographs, so like six people total. Two, and we're included in that. Including us. How was the quarterly meeting? It was phenomenal, Mac crushed it. It's really nice seeing week over week, month over month, how we're like progressing as a company. Cause otherwise, you know, we're just sitting in our house, making fun videos, cracking jokes. It's hard to really see, see the work, you know, the hard work that goes into all of this. My baby's got it covered. That's you, you're my baby. Are you hungry? Yeah, I'm very hungry. Julius now knows the word Hungry. Are you hungry? Are you hungry? Oh my gosh. Ah. He's so happy. He oh, loves me. He does. Every time I sit down, he climbs on my lap now. Since the baby. You hungry? What are you making? You hungry? Come on, let's get dinner. Let's get dinner. What are you looking for? Oh, I'm looking at our bare bone fridge. We do have this pork belly that I smoked yesterday for five hours. That made me feel sick yesterday. Cause it's like 90%, it's, Mega kept saying, isn't that like 90% fat? It feels like it and then it's just like- It is close. In my belly, it's just like, I feel like I'm just oozing fat. I don't know, it's like, I didn't feel good. I ate too much for sure. So now I'm just like, I can't look at it. But I've been having one of these almost every day and they're so good. It's bone broth, but it has like stuff mixed in it. It right? has, yeah, it has coconut oil, MCT oil, lemon, and turmeric. Miley has the most insatiable appetite lately. Insatiable. Theo's sleeping like an angel. And I wanna show you two new things we got. This isn't a new thing, but I moved my desk up here and I hooked the Xbox up to one of my computer monitors. Madden all day. Number two is I got this super expensive bottle of wine. It's a Bordeaux, which I don't know anything about wine, so I think that's good. 2015, and we are gonna age this for 21 years and have it for Theo on his 21st birthday. I thought that would be a fun thing to do. Comment below how much you think this bottle of wine cost me. And to add to our gym, we got a treadmill. It took me like 37 tries to convince Matt to get it. Off of Let Go. Off of the app Let Go, not sponsored. I used to shop off of Let Go. Now I just shop just to let go. That's someone else made that up, right? Yeah, uh, oh. blue face. Blue face, baby. We haven't used it yet. I just got it yesterday. We also added this TRX to the gym so I can start doing body weight stuff because mama's weak. Pregnancy gets the best of your physique, but gives you the best thing in the world, a little baby. Yeah, Giving you run on it? It sort of skips a little. It's not great, but it's good. Would you rather pay double to get like an actual real good one? Well, it wouldn't have been double. It would have been like 4X. It is about 11 a.m. and Mega is going to warm me some pork belly. Is that big enough? More. Looks like she's going with a sandwich wrap. So that's pretty much all I'm going to have for breakfast or lunch. It's 11 a.m. This is a lot of calories though. It's probably like 600 or something, 700. And you don't always have to get super fancy with your meals. Like sometimes I'll just have something like this. Okay, I'm taking Theo, show him what you're making. Okay. So that is my wrap. So there is mayo, turkey, deli meat, avocado, and onion. 
I usually just use whatever we have in the fridge or like vegetable wise on the counter. Sometimes I'll do carrots. We are on our way to Hobbytown, USA. What's Hobbytown, USA? Oh, I don't know. Let's go find out. I've been wanting to go to this store for a while. He said it like 17 times. He's like, we're going to Hobbytown, USA this weekend. And he just said it over and over. And so we're here on a Monday. So we have a few highlights. We got science. We got puzzles. Rockets. Games. Model trains. I could see just turning our basement into a model train thing when I'm older. I cannot. Succeeded my expectations. Yes, it did. You can't even come in here with children. It would just be dangerous. We're going to start training him on golf early. We're going to be like Tiger Woods' parents. These are the kind of stuffed animals, except we had, I had bigger ones. These ones, though? Comment below, guys. Is, is disc golf cool? Like, if you're good at disc golf, is that impressive? It's something where I'm like, if I see someone who's good at disc golf, I'm like, you're a loser. But then I can also kind of envision myself someday in the future, like getting super into disc golf. Are they losers or is it kind of cool? I found one. Why did you pick that? And I showed it to Matt and he was like disgusted by it. It's like stamps or something? Yeah, it's cool, isn't it? No. What do you mean no? I would have gone like Harry Potter or Lord of the Rings or something. No, this seems like more of a challenge. And it makes me feel good, like traveling and... Hmm. See you burst out crying. We're heading home now. We gotta go for a puzzle now. We're back from Hobby Town, USA, and I'm gonna have this epic protein bar. It's like a new one. It's called, what is it called? Rise and Grind. These are pretty good. I think this is three carbs. Yeah, it's five total, two fiber, three net carbs. And then here I have some blueberries, a big clump of them. So while I pump using my Spectra S1, which I absolutely love and highly recommend for anyone looking to purchase a pump. This was not covered by my insurance, but insurance does usually cover a free one. I splurged and I'm obsessed. So I recommend, but while I pump, I'm gonna have a snack. I'm gonna have one of these chocolate peanut butter keto bars. He's sleeping, but also, oh, okay. I lied. Someone's awake. Theo's playing, these are his feet. I am defrosting some chicken drumsticks. We're gonna meal prep. So when we first got this grill, I didn't love it because it didn't have like really high temperature grilling. It's more of a smoker, which is what it actually is. It's a smoker. But this is like a meal prepper's dream. If you meal prep, we use this every single week for meal prep. I love it now. And it uses these wood pellets. What veggies are we doing? I don't know. We've been doing carrots and like crazy squashes lately. I'm into all of that. I was craving something sweet. So this is unsweetened chocolate almond milk. I added some stevia to it and now I just have delicious chocolate milk. So, so wait, just a quick glimpse into Matt's life. This is from this morning and it would be here for like three days. No, if, I cleaned it up at if night. If Mama Bear didn't clean up after him. Sorry, I'm over here working on the ultimate team. So we got Baker Mayfield at quarterback. He's like my least favorite player ever, but he was free with challenges, so I got him. He's an 86. We got Philip Lindsay because he's fast. I like fast guys. He's not that good, but he's fast. And then Marshawn Lattimore at corner. I'm a 78 overall, which is a really bad team. We got Bobby Wagner at middle linebacker. So TLDR doesn't really matter. Okay guys, I went to Publix, just got back, picked up some items, just a small little grocery haul. I got this, which is a butternut squash. Squashes are in season right now, I believe. So we have been eating quite a lot of squash. I've never really eaten squash at any point in my life before like the last month or so. I have been loving these. I get these at Publix. They're near the deli meats, like the boar's head deli meats. These, they're super low carb, as you can see there. There's no dairy if you're trying to do dairy free. I make breakfast tacos out of these like almost every day for the past couple weeks. Some people have also said they have a different version at Costco. Been buying these. This is probably like the 10th pack we've bought. In. Bought. I always say bought. In. I got some lunch meat. I like to put these in my breakfast tacos actually. I do eggs, I do some lunch meat or some breakfast sausage and some hot sauce. This is our treat. Sprite Zero Sugars. I like these during game day on Sundays during football season. Just nice and refreshing. And then out here the drumsticks are just about done. And then for dinner here I am cooking a spaghetti squash, which I've never had before. And I cooked this with some beef tallow, or actually lately, I found this the other day, 
bison tallow. So I generally cook with animal fats as opposed to plant fats because you can cook at higher heats and you don't have to worry about them oxidizing because there isn't any polyunsaturated fats in these. So that's just a good rule of thumb. If you're cooking at high temperatures, you want animal fats or I would say coconut oil is also good. Coconut oil is very low in polyunsaturated fats. Look what just came in the mail, a huge box of keto bars. And we mentioned this in the last video. This has been a long time in the making. Look whose logo is on these keto bars. Do you guys know what our logo looks like? That's it. And it's chocolate covered strawberry. So good, you're gonna love them. Yeah, so this is a limited time guys. I'll link it below October 15th or they may be gone. Grab them while they're hot. Whoa, there's actually a paragraph on here. Our newest flavor was formulated with our good friends Matt and Mega, AKA Keto Connect, but the ingenuity and seal of approval from Matt and Mega, whoa. When stuff like this happens, it just brings me back to our Philadelphia apartment where I'm like, hey, let's buy a URL and start making YouTube videos. Yeah, all the fights and the crying. We have no credentials to do this. We just started doing things. Yeah, I mean, there was so many times where I was like, I'm, I'm not gonna end up with him. Like, I need to break up with him. He treats me poorly. <laughs> We're not even good cooks. Like, we just like cooking for fun a little bit. Yeah. I don't even know if Mega likes cooking that, that much. Oh, I love it. I love baking you more. You like baking. I'm more baking, Matt's more cooking. Now we're married. Hard things, hard things, uh, nothing. Nothing coming out something, of it. There's yeah. something that starts with hard <laughs> things, right? Diamonds, you know, like what's, what's the saying? Something about pressure and Do diamonds. hard things, guys, is what I'm saying, essentially. Good things come out of doing hard things. Like Theo. Like, that wasn't Theo that hard. Virus. We got dinner here. This is spaghetti squash, which I've never tried before. Mega says she doesn't like it that much and three drumsticks. That's it guys, winding down the day. I'm tired. Are you tired? No. Did you get a nap? Nope, women can do it all. We watched that documentary series, just the first episode, Rotten, on Netflix, about the avocado farming practices. It makes you kind of understand there's pretty much suffering in everything you eat. Yeah, definitely. Nothing's, nothing's cruelty free. Like you go to the grocery store and you see those those like vegan meat things and it's like the cruelty free version. It's not cruelty free. Uh, you could argue it's more cruelty. I mean, avocados involved. aren't cruelty at all free either. That was my first thought. I was like, how does a vegan respond to this? Like this episode, right? Yeah, I mean, I don't I haven't looked into it. I would imagine relatively low on the suffering index is a locally raised cow. Like, yeah, the cow dies. That's some degree of suffering. Mm -hmm. But like, there's no human suffering in that process, really, to my understanding. There could be. I don't know. Just also a good show you guys can check out. No. Rotten on Netflix. Oh, someone's farting and getting upset. No, Julius. How was the squash? It's not great. I don't really like it. I'll eat it all, but it's not my fave. It's amazing how much a baby grows every day. How like, quickly, yeah. Every day he does new things. He's actually not good at all. Yeah. I think he's just starting to get to the point of manipulation. No. Where he'll like cry and then he'll look out of the side of his eye to see like if something's happening. He's way more aware of his surroundings. Yeah. Matt's had a shirt inside out the entire day. You can't beat smoked meat. I agree. If you guys are on the fence about a smoker, I would get it. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't get that big one though. Get a smaller one, like a couple hundred bucks. Yeah, ours feeds a family of 10. Yeah. Oh, that's a question I guess a lot of you have been asking. Is your kid going to be keto? So I haven't read a lot about this, but I like this idea. It's called baby led weaning. Mm -hmm. Essentially, as soon as the baby starts showing interest in your foods, like the foods you're eating, you start giving him some, yeah. just whatever you're eating. So like, if you're eating a ribeye steak, you give him a ribeye steak and he just like gnaws on it with his gums. Like big pieces. You don't chop it up for him, you don't blend it, you don't baby food, not, you don't need baby food, just normal food. But that's- Are we still gonna be vlogging then? In six months? Oh, I guess six yeah. months. What I'm you, picturing like five years down the road. It'll be amazing like the first food he eats that isn't breast milk. We'll just do like a lemon. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> that would be so funny. He'd be so traumatized. Or maybe like when he's two years old, we can give him a lemon so it won't traumatize him, but it'll still be like, he'll be like, what's a lemon? I'm sure you can just YouTube that and there's tons of Yeah, you're right. It. You want to do some more Madden tonight, me give and you? Give head more support. Spaghetti squash sucks. I see all these people on Instagram. Oh. Here we go again, raving about spaghetti squash. I try spaghetti squash, not Chimes rave worthy. right into what I was going to say. It's yeah. all fake. <laughs> it's all it's fake. It's all a facade. <laughs> Nothing on Instagram is real. So even if it seems really genuine, like there's crying and 
the, the emotions are real, I would just take everything with a grain of salt. Well, there's an editing process. So the person was like, oh, I like how those tears come off. I think that plays well to my demographics. Let's post it. Yeah, or even like, what about like the live? Like there's IGTV, there's YouTube Live. Those aren't live. Oh yeah, YouTube Live is live. Oh, IGTV isn't live? No, you pre-record it, then you post it. Oh, I thought yeah. it was live. No. Comparing yourself is a dangerous thing that we all do. And so like trying not to get caught up in it, for me at least, that's naturally happened just as my world has grown. Is this so, more of a woman thing? I don't compare myself that much. You don't like look at rappers and you're like, oh, look at those. I'm like, oh, cool you're car. dope. I'm like, yeah, it's a cool car. But I'm not like, man, I, I wish I was a rapper. because that guy put in personality. Maybe. But like, you don't just get to be a famous rapper by accident. Yeah, I'll like look at people and I'll be like, that's cool, mm -hmm. but it's not like a jealous thing. I only ever did that when I see like fitness models. I'm like, I want that body, you know, I want to look like that. And then I'm also expecting it to like happen a couple are, months, are six months, a year. No, but like, I think that conveys a sense of insecurity, right? In your own body. No, I think no, it's just... No, but I don't think jealousy came up comparing. Yeah, people have better bodies. Yeah. Better bodies are like, I want those. But yeah. I also understand what it takes to get them. Right, like I didn't really understand that. And a lot of people don't understand. Like it takes years and years and years, right, to get that body. You know, someone has a fancy car, someone has, has a lot of things, but like also that's not your financial situation. So you can't, you just plain can't afford things. So it's like comparing yourself is, is just a dangerous thing that we all do. It's hard to get out of that cycle though, once you're in it, because social media is very consuming. It's always there. But we compare it to like other food bloggers, right? I look at them for like what's working for them. We need to start doing that. Right. Tactical. If they have something we don't have, they're doing something we're not doing. Yeah. I would never just be jealous because they have it. But like that's, no, you're right. But like how other people look at it is like, they're doing something that I'm not doing. I don't want to do that, but I want what they have. You know, like people don't well, want to yeah. put in the hard work. People, majority of people I would say don't want to work hard for things. No one wants to work hard. Working hard sucks. What was he saying? You're just talking about how he's going to kick some golf ass when he's older. He's sad that daddy won't let him play baseball. He thinks it's dumb, but Theo really wants to play. He hates soccer, but he knows daddy's going to make him play soccer. Talked about sports all the, the entire time, basically. All right, guys, it's been a long day. It's now 8.30. I also had a snack. I had some frozen blueberries and Natola granola. If you've seen the like the last vlog, I think. Like the last five. The last five. It's the same snack. And I had it throughout my pregnancy too. And Matt had the chocolate covered strawberry keto bar, which he will link below as well. That's it. That's Monday. Oh, no, it's Tuesday. That's it. That's Tuesday. See? Well, it was our Monday. It was our Monday. Okay, fine. <laughs> That's it. That's Monday. Bonus footage. Play cat noises. Want more than one meow at a time? You can hear Ned Stop Meows by purchasing the unlimited meows feature. Oh my god. Wanna learn more? They're selling, They're selling us meows now. You can hear Ned Stop Meows by purchasing the unlimited meows feature. Wanna learn more? No. <laughs> and then this is two hours after we did the meows on the Alexa. She's still. She gets addicted to things. She gets addicted to this one like rope toy we have. And this is her new addiction, I think. Well, it's like you with Madden. She's exactly like her dad. Yeah, except she's addicted to object. Alexa. Alexa.